Welcome to Series 21.2, everyone. We have Daniel Kwan and Patrick Keenan back with us today to finish our characters for their new game, Ross Rifles, currently on Kickstarter and currently doing very well. They have recently unlocked the Medic playbook, which sounds really darn cool based on our discussion this series. So definitely check that out if you get the chance. We'll get to the rest of the character creation right after this announcement. If you haven't heard yet, which you should have if you've been listening, uh, but just in case, Amelia and I are both headed to a catacon again this year, and we have a fun character creation cast panel in store for everyone on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. It'll be a great way to wrap up the convention for many of you, and we have plenty of tickets available. If you happen to be in the Dayton, Ohio area and want to swing by the show or go for the whole weekend, we do still have an extra badge for the convention that we will literally give away to someone for free. All you need to do is let us know you're interested and able to attend the convention. Or if you are already going and you already have your ticket, maybe you would like a ticket for a friend. Just let us know. Event registration is going on right now, so the sooner we can get this ticket in your hand, the better. I know most of my events are filled up, some with a waiting list, so definitely check out what we're up to and see if you can drop in and say hi. We don't have any other announcements right now. We've both been very busy prepping for the con and living life as normal, and also Halloween is right around the corner. So nothing much else to report right now. So, without further ado, let's get on with the show. Enjoy. Last time on Character Creation Cast, Daniel was creating a scout, Patrick was creating a scrounger, Amelia was creating a replacement, and I was creating a creative. We're picking up right where we left off from the last episode, right now. Enjoy. Uh, my personal item is going to be, uh, what's your personal item, Patrick? It's just a photo of the family, I think. A photo of the family? You know. I, I'm not in that much of my great grandfather's psyche. I don't know what he was carrying around with him. I'm gonna. My character's gonna be. He's. I think I'm gonna make him Japanese. Uh, I'm gonna be Kenji Nakamura. Nice, nice. Okay, so this guy was a bridge builder before the war. So I'm going to say he designed bridges, and he has a photo of himself and his family in front of the first bridge that he designed and built. That's a good oh, one. Oh, that's yeah. a good yeah. one. Dang, that that's way better <laughs> than mine. <laughs> uh, and one of the cool things about the personal item is that it can actually be used to remove stress. So you can look at your photo once per session to remove one point of stress or actually re-roll a failed roll. Oh, that's awesome. Almost like you're you're about to throw a grenade and you just you roll snake eyes and you're like, no, I'm gonna use my personal item. I hold on to my pocket watch, I think of my family, and I toss their grenade. You roll like a 13 with yeah. your bonuses. Nice. And it makes for something super dramatic. But also, it, the personal item was a way for us to uh, kind of make the war have hope. Mm -hmm. And one interesting thing about the creative is that one of their moves can actually craft a new personal item for either yourself or another member of your section. So if you happen to lose yours and there's a creative in your section, they can create a piece of art or something that you know you hold on to as a fellow soldier yeah R ryan you're playing the creative right yeah what 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 was what kind of art are you thinking of doing for your character well, i know that they do they probably do drafting uh, drafting yeah like like uh you know blueprints and all that sort of stuff um so i'm wondering if uh it has something to do with uh with drawing oh nice at that point it's like plans to like improve these trenches 
You just have like plans to make everything look nicer in here. Well, I, I I would imagine that I probably would have something to do with uh, with making the trenches uh, a little bit safer as well, like more structurally mm-hmm. sound and all that. That would be really sweet. I'm helping. <laughs> I'm helping. the The scout <laughs> actually gets to um, uh, create a unique trench club. So what I did was mine is going to be a table leg. So I think if we were playing in the narrative. I would want the table that we have in our dugout to only have three legs because I took one of the legs <laughs> to kill people with. That's, That's amazing. amazing. Okay, so I've done the left side. As uh, am I. How about you two? Yeah, I think I'm all uh, done with the left side. I just need to figure out tools, my uh, artistic tools, as they call it. Do we, do we have uh, so a drafting I, table? In the dugout? We can have a drafting table in our dugout. What would it be made out of? But it only has three legs. Yeah, it only has three legs. <laughs> Maybe the drafting table only has three legs. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, the the dugout says as a creative, uh, I get my own uh, personal dugout that I chose to conduct my creative work in. Um, and when I wish to produce a work of art, I get to go in there and the GM will tell me if I need anything. So Sweet. how have you made it unique? I think a drafting table works. That's awesome. Maybe I'll be a scout who's never killed. That's an interesting Ooh. idea. Yeah, maybe Ooh. maybe I've never killed, and because I've never killed, because I'm just I just tell I just get information, because like a scout doesn't have to kill. No, right, right. I have a special project. I don't know what my special project should be. A robot? No. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's a new drafting table. A new table. A new table. Because <laughs> I because I messed up our current one. And then one of my bonds can be, I've seen you be wasteful of supplies because you've taken the table. And thing. I've never killed anybody. <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. I think for my personal item, I'm going to have a, a small US coin. This this person that I found um, has a next of kin that lives in Pennsylvania. Oh, interesting. Um, mm. Yeah. So I think it's their father. So I think we're going to say they have some, some American coins. Nice. Very cool. So when you're now, now once you're done the left side, you would move into the the center column, and you would assign your uh, values to the attributes in the order that they appear, and then add one to any of them. Then you have questions and bonds. Uh, I often like to do the bonds last when every at the end mm-hmm. when everybody does their sort of introductions. Uh, although Patrick, you I think you already have a bond with me, right? Yes, but we can talk about it. We'll talk end. about that yeah. later. And then once you're done, questions and attributes. You've uh, you finished the first page of your character sheet, actually, except for bonds. Awesome. Uh, I've taken lives for king and country. What toll has this taken on me? Mm. I haven't taken lives. You yet. haven't taken any. I haven't taken. Maybe any. you feel like oh, maybe maybe everybody thinks I have taken lives. Yeah. Yeah. You're a fraud. I'm a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been stationed on the Western Front? Hmm. Yeah, and that and that depends on when our game's going to be taking place. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's kind of toward the middle. So you're saying like 1916? Maybe. Yep, that works for him. For this hypothetical game? Yep. Yeah. And and for those of our audience that don't remember when uh, World War One started. Because they're Americans and we don't learn about that. <laughs> Even though you <laughs> fought in the war. Yeah. Even though that Americans did, fought in the yeah, war. Yeah, but that would not, we weren't as excited that, about that That shows how war, our but... wonderful our education system is. Ooh, Look. Burn. Yeah, bird on your country. World War I guess. II happened after the Great Depression, and so that's the one we care about. Yeah. <laughs> so 1914 to 1918. Yep. But Canadians didn't arrive onto oh. the front until like. 50. Well, they left actually October 4th, 1914. Mm. Um, but they did not arrive until 1915. But what's the significance of October 4th, Patrick? The day our Kickstarter is launching. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Good segue, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to say two years then, right? Yeah, we can say two years. Or I guess a what year since the... we were, you, you've been on the front since the 15th. But you might have like, uh, enlisted right away, yeah. right? So you've been... You just like, get me on that boat. Yeah. Get me to France Actually, right now. I... Is that what you said <laughs> when you went, to, uh... you went to the officers? Like, I need to be in France. One ticket to France, please. One ticket to France. I'll bring my own uniform. And it's just like super old. <laughs> That's that's funny. It actually looks like this uh, this guy that I found uh, was in London, Ontario, on the twenty first of February, nineteen sixteen. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. No, I'm not gonna write that. So, for my first question about like what toll has it taken, I'm just gonna write 
I have never killed, but people think I have. And then in big, bold letters, I'm going to write expectations. <laughs> <laughs> How do you express yourself artistically? You draft. Yeah, I think my special project will be an, a, like a drafting, you know, hook up the dugout with. Hook up the dugout with something? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Amelia, what kind of questions do you have? Oh, while well, you take your allergy pills. <laughs> <laughs> without without headphones without headphones yeah it's all good um mm -hmm. how have i made my rifle my own i've never killed anybody <laughs> i've made it's just so clean and it's just so clean <laughs> do do you mark the rifle for every time you go scouting and people think that's how many people you've killed yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh, that's yes one. yes that's it <laughs> that's on them for making assumptions you didn't lie to them yep I mark. And every time he goes out, he gets one kill. This guy's That's amazing. amazing. <laughs> it's that table leg, and it's just so clean and rust-free. <laughs> what happened to the private you are replacing? Ooh, uh, got dark. Maybe. Yeah. So far, we've Maybe. got a pretty lighthearted. Or they could have just been, you know, re relocated to somewhere else. <laughs> right. Oh, my God, you got the dental records up, too. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff you can pull off this website. We should put dental records on the playbooks. No. <laughs> <laughs> Severe underbite. Please attach your dental records here. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I mark my rifle every time I make it back from no man's land. I love that idea, Ryan. That's awesome. I want to say that the person I'm replacing was just like, I can't think of the, what is the word? Oh my God promoted oh you're yeah. prom okay they were they were just promoted and moved somewhere else that's a good one so that's a like, good one it's not even bad it's just like and i'm not him and like here's the thing <laughs> only one of the playbooks actually is named after a rank so the replacement doesn't necessarily have to be a lower ranking soldier that's true so mm -hmm. since in this case since we don't have a sergeant playbook amelia might be the one in charge you are the replacement sergeant oh, no. <laughs> you could be Oh no, that would be. Oh, I, ho I hope you have good a very valor. Very nervous replacement. <laughs> no, I do not. It is zero. <laughs> this is like this is like new day on the job, new boss. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have a little just, mixer in the dugout. Just don't put any drinks on the drafting act table. Trying to like I know what's going on. <laughs> okay, sweet. Two of my questions are connected to each other. Perfect. Oh, I have a I have a dugout question. Oh yeah, I have. Yeah, one so of the creative gets to describe the dugout as part of their. Their character and the scout actually gets to describe a truth about no man's land. Yep. So some oh, of them actually have scene setting questions. My truth is that there are many, I want to say that there are stormtroopers waiting out in craters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we put that in just to give the GM a little bit of help in establishing the scene and allow the players to have some sort of uh, contribution as well. So it doesn't feel like, you know, we're just being told what's going on by the GM. Yeah, give give player player agency is really important to us. Mm -hmm. Like even both in like our like working at the museum, level up gaming, you know, giving players agency is super important and making the game educational. Sweet, I'm done the first page of mine. I have really good brawn. I oh wait, but I'm wit. haggard, so I have to change that. <laughs> I'm I'm very I have <laughs> I'm gonna give myself one brawn. Oh, darn, I have to change everything. <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna be really really brave i'm going to be physically weak i'm gonna have decent decent that should be minus two you're looking at this older. one yeah oh that's why thanks man oh we will already yes that, that, one out. that is not in i want to put a minus minus two zero one <laughs> so i'm gonna have high valor average as in zero i one wit and minus two in brawn, and I am the mm. scout. All right. How, how are you Why folks did you doing? Join the war effort. I think I'm all set on my attributes. I was back and forth on either valor or wit as my highest, uh, but I think I ended up with valor because that's uh, easier to comfort people. Yeah. That's kind of what I was going for. Yeah, and always take a look at your, uh, the playbook, at your playbook moves, moves on, on the, the second page. Oh, yeah. As well as the basic moves, which are also included. <gasps> There's wit as well. Oh, no. Okay. Come back to me. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh no, you're changing things. <laughs> I might be. One of the things we also did on uh, on the on the move sheet was we tried to make it as accessible as possible. So since there are there are there are a lot of PBTA games with a lot of moves. Yeah. So on our move sheet, we actually have icons next to the name of each move, indicating which attribute they're rolled with. But also, for instance, like the faithful through adversity move, it has a medical a harm icon next to it, so that you know it helps you recover harm. Mm-hmm. So we want to. Yeah, I oh, really I like, like that. that. I like that a lot. As somebody who has a hard time like absorbing like paragraphs of information, mm-hmm. that's incredibly helpful. To oh me. wow, that's really that's really cool. I like that. We also well. picked a dyslexia friendly font. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> uh, what what font? Uh, if you don't mind me asking. We can get back to you on that from Will. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. um, I mean, it's a it's a serif font, which helps a lot with that. Yep. Um, makes it easier to tell like I's from L's and yep. that kind of stuff. Yeah, we tried. Will we we tried to we Will our graphic yes. designer <laughs> did a really good job of making everything look clean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's very good. I I like the the layout of these uh, these character sheets a lot. My favorite part is the icons. I love yeah, the I icons. Love the icons. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, man. Now I don't know if to go with wit or valor. Uh, do you want to be you know, quick thinking or would you rather be just brave? Hmm. You want to be brave, Ryan. But uh, okay. you're, if you're the creative. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's where I'm. That's where you, do you want to do you want to be an effective soldier or an effective drafter of things? Mm. Amelia, what did you go for your highest attribute? Um, I picked wit. Okay. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I went with wit as well for my highest. Oh yeah. Yeah. And then also brawn is my second highest. Nice. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna go with valor then. Sweet. Yeah, I think I'll stick with valor. So I've got valor at two, I at zero, wit at one, and brawn at minus one. Ooh. My brawn is minus two. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's zero. <laughs> I have a one brawn. So a one brawn, so you're I'm strong. The, I'm the guy who's lifting stuff. It makes sense. As a scrounger, yes, it does. Yeah, it definitely mm-hmm. does. Um, so on the second page, you're going to choose your playbook move. Now, it, depending on the playbook, you're going to get more choice. Now, on some of them, for instance, like the scarred, uh, actually starts off with moves checked off. Um, so does the scrounger yeah. and the replacement. Um, and the creative, and the creative as well. I think most of them do, except for the sergeant and the scout. Yeah, yeah. So you have some pre-selected. You get that means you get to pick an additional one. Nice. And both of my scout moves imply that I'm competent at combat. Oh no! I'm going to. I'm going to pick stormtrooper. <laughs> you have minus two brawn. <laughs> yeah, how to fix it? Hey, we said that we weren't going to make good characters. Yeah, this is uh, true. Ma- we're making narratively <laughs> interesting characters. Yeah. That's our favorite part of this show, like I said, is that we don't have to deal with any of the consequences of the mm-hmm. decisions that we make. <laughs> well, I mean, the- we get to make very interesting actually, characters and then never have to see how horrible it is. Actually, I think Out of the to- Night is funnier. I'm going to pick Out of the Night. <laughs> I'm, I'm picking Call to Action for mine. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, so I can inspire courage in others in a moment of doubt. Actually, Stormtrooper, the scout move, was one that we had to change most dramatically. Yes. That was the one that you just kill everyone. Yeah. That was a big uh, playtesting change that we came across. Yeah, it, it is in our second playtest. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, the move was originally like... It was you kill ambiguous, everyone. It, it, basically, it was ambiguous enough that you could jump into a thing, roll the move, and kill everyone in one move. And so, oh, we, no. had, we had to change that. <laughs> it's a little overpowered in a mechanical way. Yes, it was very mechanically overpowered. It also sounds like uh, like an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie uh, yeah. <laughs> move. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm going to go with remember your training. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. We actually took remember your training from another sort of systematic thing we had in the game that we had ultimately removed. Yeah, but we we like the name and the yeah the name was great. Yeah, and what it does. And what it does is cool. We had a system mm-hmm. in the version one build of Ross rifles called Vigilance, and you could actually cool. accumulate Vigilance tokens that you could trade in for instantaneous effects. But we removed them because it would give you these instantaneous effects and then immediately take the spotlight away from you. Yeah, because you just do it. You just do it. Oh, that's not as fun. Yeah, yeah. so we reincorporated them as moves. So I was looking I at like the wrong it. sheet. Oh. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> you, were you doing the moves for a different uh, one? For the sergeant. I was looking uh. at the sergeant's moves. And I was like, oh, no. Um, so now I got to pick out different moves. But I get two moves off the bat as well. Yep. Mm. Uh, one for the dugout um, when you're looking for materials to help produce a work of art. Um, and then produce a work of art when you use your materials you found to produce a work of art. Yeah, Patrick did a really good job with that creative one. I like that. Um, and then, oh goodness. So I either get uh, appeal to their humanity or a moment of inspiration to choose as well. Look at these schematics. They're so well drafted. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Please don't kill me. <laughs> I'm, I'm contributing. <laughs> mm-hmm. As the scrounger, I, I start with dig in, which uh, helps create improvised cover to protect us. And I also have picked resupply, which allows me to visit the quartermaster to obtain important supplies. Yeah. However, you roll with valor, and my valor is bad. So, so you're really bad at negotiating. I'm bad at talking to the quartermaster. So <laughs> maybe the quartermaster's like you again. Yeah. <laughs> you. I'm not giving you anything. Maybe else. your character is constantly going there to get supplies, but for the scout who never uses them. Yeah, you're just hoarding them. <laughs> you're just hoarding them. We have just like a, a dugout full of ammo. <laughs> Just piles of stuff. So we've definitely made a competent, competent group of trench raiders. Yeah. I, I had to uh, redo my stats. Oh, again? Ryan. I did. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. So uh, I, I am choosing the move moment of inspiration for mm-hmm. mine, mm-hmm. Uh, which allows me to use my creative mind to see the battlefield in a new way. Um, and I roll with I on that one. So now I've got one for Valor, I, and Wit, and minus one for Brawn. Oh, yeah. Nice. I'm kind of spread out. So now I, I I basically am making use of all three of those with all three of my playbook moves. Oh. Nice. You definitely have a better built character than me. <laughs> <laughs> so then once, once you've picked your moves, we're going to do introductions and then go into bonds. And so when we do introductions on the personnel record, so your party notes, you could actually put everyone's name and a, a little bit of information about them mm-hmm. and that you, we've meant that to be sort of where you record down other names as well like the quartermaster the lieutenant yeah your npcs and then there's operation orders for your missions all right so are you two ready to do introductions or are you still working i'm just copying and pasting into my notepad noise all right i'm all set how about you Amelia? I think I'm ready. I've got my little note card here with lots of things on it. So Awesome. Okay. So d- does one of you want to uh, start with introductions, introducing your character? Or I can, or Patrick can. Yeah. I think you guys should go first. You are the guest. Okay. Do you want to go with me? Yeah, I can start. Let's hear it. Um, so uh, my character is Thomas Vivian Keenan, who is my actual great-grandfather, um, loosely inspired by my great-grandfather. Uh, I picked the Scrounger playbook. Um I have an ill-fitting uniform, and I have a thin appearance, so they gave me a uniform that was too big for me, um, which is why it's ill-fitting. I've brought from home the my wrench kit that I use to repair adding machines. Oh. Uh, that's my personal item, um, nice. so hopefully that can help me, you know, build in some stuff for the group. I've just arrived here three weeks ago, so I have not seen any combat yet, um, and my trader calling before the war was an adding machine mechanic. Um my special project is working on a drafting table and area in our dugout for the creative to use for his drafting purposes. Yeah. Nice. Uh, my character is Kenji Nakamura. I am the scout. Uh, Kenji is very, very sneaky because I picked the concealed bonus move. So I'm very good at blending in. Uh, I get plus one to all of my blend in moves, which which is great because I have a zero. Mm. Uh, <laughs> And um, Kenji is a very, very talented scout, but only in the matters concerning information gathering, not so much the killing part. (laughs) Thanks to you, Ryan, I have a a great bit of flavor for Kenji because uh, Kenji actually has a table leg with nails. They're actually the nails that was was used to hold the table leg into the (laughs) drafting table. (laughs) And Kenji's rifle uh, has all these tick marks for all the times he's gone over the top into no man's land and back, but everyone thinks Kenji's recording kills. So Kenji has this record of being this amazing killer. Yeah. Almost like he's taking one life a day. <laughs> <laughs> now Kenji has these expectations to live up to, even though he's never taken a life. And that's, that's my amazing. character. 
That's amazing. All right, Ryan, do you want to go or do you want me to go? Sure, I can go. Um, so right. my character, I, I swapped the uh, first and middle name of the real life person that I based my character off of. Uh, Frederick Thomas Bolter with an O instead of an O-E. And they are the creative and they were previously a bridge builder and designer before the war. And so they are, uh, they do creative uh, drawing and drafting uh, in the trenches and, and help with uh, designing better trench supports and all that sort of stuff. Um, personal item that I had brought is a photo of my family and I in front of the first bridge that I had designed and was built. Nice. Very nice. I have been stationed on the Western Front for half a year, and I express myself artistically through drawing and drafting, and how have I made the sections dugout unique? Uh, the structure of the dugout is not only more efficient than most others, uh, it is a bit artsy and geometric as well. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Ooh. Fancy. Yeah. To do, I think if I was the GM, I would ask, does... Does High Command know that you have a very fancy dugout? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like done in, in a kind of a subtle way. But like when, when you're looking at it at certain angles, uh, things get kind of interesting. Cool. Perspective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, do we have like a like cool like MC Escher style dugout? Yeah. <laughs> <Go on>. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> you're like, oh, it should turn left, but it actually turns right. Yep. <laughs> Just in case we ever get raided. <laughs> mm -hmm. right yeah they'll never find their way out yeah um and then the the special move that i took was a moment of inspiration where i see the battlefield in a creative way and i can use that to uh, my advantage for later maybe you have like a portable bridge yeah that you can use to like walk across craters in no man's land yeah oh yeah cool. oh that would be neat and useful yeah absolutely all right how about you amelia um, so I'm doing the replacement playbook. My character's name is Algernon Gregory. That's great. How do you spell that one? Algernon, A-L-G-E-R-N-O-N. -E and Gregory, spelled like Gregory. <laughs> Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> it's my, my mom's maiden name, my brother's first name. Nice. Oh, nice. Somebody wants to know some things about me. Um, so for look, I picked youthful. Um, and the uniform is fresh and ill-fitting. Yeah. Um, my personal item is some coins from the U.S. because my father lives in Pennsylvania. Um, I replaced someone who was promoted. So they were, um, I think, probably well-liked and were doing really well. And then now I'm here instead of them. Uh, I was just assigned here. I didn't request this particular spot. Um, before the war, I was a – this is a clerk, whatever that is. Um, doesn't say what kind of clerk. Just a clerk. Probably some kind of paperwork, which makes me highly qualified for this position. <laughs> um, and one of the questions on here was, why did you join the war effort? Um, and I just put, I just really believed in the cause. Oh, nice. I'm just really, I'm just really happy to be here. Just going to make some friends. It's like the new manager walking in. It's like, okay, guys, <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> I feel like I've really, in game, I feel like my character's really done a disservice to everyone because two, two characters, <laughs> Amelia and Ryan's characters, both rely heavily on a table. <laughs> I have compromised the table. <laughs> I can't wait to see how many things go wrong and how many fights we have about this table. Mm -hmm. Right. And see, see, that's kind of where you get that that the lighthearted moments in mm -hmm. Ross Rifles. Right. <laughs> Over a table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, those are the kind of fun, like interpersonal things that I love that happen in games. Yeah. That it's like this is you know, this is a detail that overall really isn't important to like the larger story of things that are happening. But we have found this one thing now that ties all of us together mm -hmm. and it's a table. Yeah, and like I mean one of the things we the GM could do is the GM would see like, oh man, this group really is really into this table. <laughs> and maybe while I'm kind of scouting no man's land with my with my rifle that I've never fired. The GM tells me that I actually see a beautiful table in the ruins of No Man's Land. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and, do you want to attempt to drag this table back? And I can't do it because I have minus two brawn. So you need to get the rest of the party oh, on no. your side. To so the whole party goes out into No Man's Land together to go get this table. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and maybe we get into a, a, a very vicious gunfight and we come out of it 
with just one table leg. But that's enough to fix our broken oh. table. Exactly. <laughs> so, so now we end up with, a, instead of a brand new table, we have a worn out table with a really nice table leg. <laughs> that could be one session of the game. Yeah, that's awesome. I would I would play the crap out of that game. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Back our game on Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> So now that we've all introduced ourselves, we have to write our bonds, and then we're done. Yep, bonds, yeah. and then that's the last awesome. bit. Awesome. Uh, would one of you like to go first, read out your first bond, and we'll see if we have some synergies here? Okay. Um, I will start. So the first one I have listed here, it says, blank gave me a hand when I first joined the section. I owe them. Mm. So who would have been helpful? Ryan, it's probably I, you. I, I'm it's probably yeah, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan is always the nice one. <laughs> I, I would definitely lend a hand for whatever. Okay. What did I need help with, you think? Let's see. So you're new. Um, oh, uh, navigating the the l- slight oddities of the, the trench with the improvements that I had uh, made. Nice. <laughs> Very good. So you don't twist an ankle. What was your, what was your character's first name, Thomas? Uh, Frederick. Frederick. Mm. So you just kind of helped me get acquainted. Mm-hmm. Ryan, what's your first bond? Uh, someone has done something to inspire me. I see them as my muse. Hmm. Hmm. Inspire your drafting. Yeah. Maybe it's that fancy new table. I know, right? <laughs> Maybe it's the new table. The new table I spotted in No Man's Land is my muse. <laughs> An inanimate object. That would be a first for me. Yeah. <laughs> and you can always use your bonds to flesh out NPCs as well if you want to, if you'd yeah, rather do that. Yeah. Okay. Um... Let's go with, uh, hmm, I'm either either thinking Patrick's character or Daniel's character um, for this one. Either of those could work. Uh, One, because uh, Daniel took the table leg, or or Kenji took the table leg, so (laughs) (laughs) I'm thinking, well, now I need to figure out a way to, uh, you know, be creative with my drafting with only three table legs. Oh, so even though I... I put you at a disadvantage. I inspired yeah. you to be creative. Yeah. Yeah. I like Find that. creative solutions for that. Um, and then the other thought was uh, the scrounger, uh, Thomas, uh, trying to uh, scrounge together stuff for a, a new drafting table. Yep. That could work as well. That one's more pragmatic. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Like we'll, go with, uh, we'll go with uh, Thomas for that one. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, the, the whole... Wanting to create a, a drafting table, uh, we probably bonded over the the art of drafting and whatnot, mm-hmm. and and now uh, I'm inspired. Okay, nice. I think for my first one, during the last trench raid, I saved blank. They now trust me with their life. I'm gonna say it can't be Algernon because Algernon is new. Hmm. Who would I who who would I save? Because I it wouldn't be through killing anybody. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Maybe it's a, you know what? I'm going to put a mascot. Yeah. I'm going to say, uh, I saved a cat <laughs> from being killed by high command. <laughs> yeah, no, you no, in our dugout? no, I saved like during, during a battle, ah. maybe a, there was a cat and, uh, we got raided and I was trying to reposition or it looked like I was repositioning to fire back at the enemy, but I was just being a coward and I grabbed, <laughs> I want to say a puppy. I grabbed a puppy. Oh, uh, now we now have oh. a puppy, and we now have a trench puppy, and everybody's like, "Oh, what's its name?" Oh God, uh, uh, Antonio, <laughs> Antonio the trench puppy. <laughs> oh, uh, and everybody thought I was so brave because not only was I, air quotes, killing the enemy, I also saved a puppy. <laughs> oh, adding man. more to the lies of my heroics. <laughs> That's so good. That's a good one. Antonio the trench puppy mascot. I love that it's it's not that like you're actively lying, it's just that everybody around you is making all of these assumptions yeah, about you. Right. <laughs> it's not a, like I didn't say anything. You know, on our, on our we're gonna we're playing a live stream tomorrow. I think I'm gonna play this character. Yeah. Oh yeah. amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so my first bond is about our battalion quartermaster, so it's about an NPC. So I'm gonna say that his name is Corporal White. Uh, and they sometimes manage me to get special supplies. I want to say because they think that Kenji is using them to be an effective <laughs> scout, <laughs> effective trench raider. So they're giving me the supplies to pass on to you. 
<laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Amelia, what's your next bond? Uh, let's see here. My next bond. Um, blank is teaching me how to blank so I can be a more effective member of the section. Ooh. Hmm. I think maybe my character would be teaching. Definitely. About mechanics yeah. or something, maybe? I don't it could know. Be, it could be, for me, it could be how to sneak around no man's land. Or that as well. Even though you're not an effective killer, you know how to hide. I, I do know how to hide. I'm very good at hiding. But do you want anybody to know how not effective you are at killing? See, maybe I don't. Would you maybe take I don't with actually you? know that people think I'm a good killer. <laughs> I'm like, why is everybody so <laughs> weird around me? <laughs> why do we keep I'm like getting super all these nervous bullets? To go out with you, I'm like, I don't, I don't really want. That sounds really dangerous. No, it's really not. <laughs> maybe, maybe Kenji just super naive. Yeah. Maybe I'm not haggard. Yeah, I think I'm, I w- I'm youthful. <laughs> I think that I would love to go out and um, explore No Man's Land with you and find out um, exactly what you're up to out there. See the truth. That might be kind of fun. <laughs> and yeah. Maybe you've heard about my exploits, and, and this yes. is you wanting to you know, be effective on the battlefield and learn about No Man's Land. So if we like, I want to prove myself. I'm new here. I want to yeah, like, to go out with the most dangerous soldier ever, <laughs> Kenji Nakamura. <Yes. laughs> oh, it looks like we didn't see anybody this time that we could easily take out we better go home kenji why are you <laughs> kenji why are you carving onto your rifle <laughs> <laughs> well i made it back <laughs> no but we didn't we didn't see anybody uh but I'm, that's not what i'm marking <laughs> <I'm super laughs> oh, every no. day every day i go i make it back from no man's land I carve using my Japanese woodworking knife, which is my personal item. <laughs> oh, I carve. Here, I thought you were using the nail from the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, yes. <laughs> I use this nail to carve in a, a, new no, a new number for every single time I come back safe. Another day. You know that's not what everybody thinks, right? This is days without incident. <laughs> when you do kill someone you don't when i do kill someone i don't yeah. get to put anything there <laughs> oh no <laughs> this is so good That's amazing. Uh, this is a black adder episode yeah the 100 percent black adder episode <laughs> uh, oh, wow. okay so amelia we got your second one ryan what about you uh so my second one is someone and i know each other from home uh they help me obtain materials for my art um, I kind of want to go with uh, Amelia's ca- character, Elgernon. Oh, really? Because I feel like a scrounger would be best able to help you find True, things. True, but I already have Thomas for my inspiration. Yeah. Maybe Thomas uh, is a new new friend who can do this, right? Mm-hmm. 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 All right. So I help you find things for your art? Yeah. You help me ma- obtain materials for my art. All right. So you were a clerk before, right? Yes. So maybe you were a, a clerk for... Your the, firm. Uh, the bridge building company. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. All these characters are just coming together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, who's next? Uh, I think that's me. Uh, blank and I often butt heads when strategizing. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think... Ooh. So, Amelia, since you're like... You're the replacement and you're replacing our leader. Do you, is your mm-hmm. character all about, like, getting things done? Oh no! Okay, so uh-huh. then we don't butt heads at all. Could I? Could I offer no. <laughs> myself for that one? Yes, because that would work out perfectly with my bond, my last bond. Okay, Frederick. Frederick. Yeah. Frederick and I often butt heads when strategizing. Yes. So, so I want. Well, I want to hear your last bond now. <laughs> yeah. So my last bond was somebody does not believe that my art has a place on the front lines. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, dang. That's really and good. And so I'm determined to prove that my creativity has value to the war effort. This is why I took the table leg. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, you were like, this does not have a place here. I'm taking this table leg. This is mine now. Mm, and ooh. now you're going to be, you know, messed up with your drafting. I like that. Patrick, what's your second one? My second one is blank has helped me with my projects in the past. I owe them a favor. I think that would probably work with Frederick the best. Yeah. Because... so. We're kind of, you know, working together on this drafting table stuff. So, yeah, nice. That's an easy one. Yeah. Uh, Amelia, you you uh, do you have any more? Uh, yeah. My last one is blank has seen me make a critical error Ooh. and I have to work extra hard to prove myself to oh, them. I feel like that's an NPC. Yeah, that that might be like a higher command officer or something like our lieutenant. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Oh, poor Algernon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do we name this? 
this person we're I often use like Osborne. Yep. Stanhope. Just very old timey English sounding names. Lee. Richard. Richards. <laughs> yeah, we could do Richards. That's a good one. What did I do? What did I mess up on? Richards. Okay. And then Ryan, you've done your last one. Yeah. Okay. So uh, my last one is blank and I are the only survivors of an enemy raid. We survived because of blank. I don't know who, because I would put Antonio. <laughs> Antonio. <laughs> oh my God. Maybe Antonio oh, and I yeah. are the only survivors of a raid. Yeah. That's when you saved him. That's why I saved him. I have to do that. Oh. And who you're, is it? You have to be saved by somebody else as well? No. Antonio and I are the only survivors of an enemy raid. We survived because we ran. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh so my last one is i've seen blank be wasteful with our supplies if i see it again i'll bring it up to the lieutenant i think that has to be kenji oh yeah 100 yeah. so and those are my bonds maybe you, you can't explain why kenji's getting all these kills yeah. yet no ammunition is disappearing <laughs> from our dugout <laughs> i don't know what's happening sir phantom bullets <laughs> one for one i just one need for to one. grab some bol- bullets off the the places i'm scouting and <laughs> exactly <laughs> Maybe Kenji is so hardcore he takes bullets from the dead. <laughs> oh no! Jeez. Um, then there's an area for a custom bond that's usually used when you level up, when you advance. When you advance, okay. um, you could do that a number of ways. If you see at the the top right, you see experience. You need four per advance. You can mm-hmm. get experience by resolving bonds or completing objectives. When okay. you get four, uh, and of course you resolve a bond. Uh, you can add a new custom bond below. When you level up, you can also increase an attribute by one to a max of three, or you can pick a new playbook move. Cool. Yeah, and so we uh, that's character creation for Ross Rifles. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. We made people. This is great. We did it. We made people. This was, this was a lot of Kenji, fun. Kenji, Thomas, I... <laughs> <laughs> Frederick, <laughs> Algernon, Algernon, and Antonio. <laughs> and Antonio. You can't forget Antonio. Antonio. Antonio, the favorite character of this series. Oh, 100%. <laughs> crowd, crowd pleaser. That's amazing. All right. All right. Well, thank you both so much for joining us for our Ross Rifles character creation episodes. Uh, Patrick, do you want to go ahead and remind the people where they can find you online? Uh, yeah, thanks for having us. Um, you can find me online at, on Twitter. I'm at Keenan underscore Patrick. And on Instagram, I'm also at Keenan underscore Patrick. Um, on Facebook, I'm just Patrick Keenan, and you can email me at patrick at dundaswestgames.com. Yeah. And uh, for me, I'm Daniel H. Kwan on all social media. So that's Twitter, Instagram, uh, and Facebook, and Patreon. But you can also find Dundas West Games on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Dundas West Games. Mm-hmm. Very cool. And I guess my email is Daniel K at dundaswestgames.com. Oh, <laughs> Whoa, now you changed it up, and now we're so confused. (laughs) I know, I had the branding on point, and then Daniel K. (laughs) That's all right. Well, thank you, everyone, for listening, and please join us on the next episode for our discussion block. Character Creation Cast is a production of the One Shot Podcast Network and can be found online at www.charactercreationcast.com. Head to the website to get more information on our hosts, this show, and even our press kit. Character Creation Cast can also be found on Twitter at CreationCast or on our Discord server at discord.charactercreationcast.com. I'm one of your hosts, Ryan Bolter, and I can be found on Twitter at Lord Neptune or online at lordneptune.com. Our other host, Amelia Antrim, can be found on Twitter at Ginger Reckoning. Music for this episode is used with a Creative Commons license or with permission from the podcast they originated from. Further information can be found within the show notes. Our main theme music is Hero Remix by Steve Combs and is used with a Creative Commons license. This podcast is owned by us under Creative Commons. This episode was edited by Ryan Bolter. Further information for the game systems used and today's guests can be found in the show notes. If you'd like to leave us a rating or review, we have links to various review platforms out there, including Apple Podcasts, in our show notes. Also, check the show notes for links to our other projects. Thanks for joining us.
And remember, we find that the best part of any role-playing game is character creation. So go out there and create some amazing people. We will see you next time. We gotta read some show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Character Creation Cast is hosted by the One Shot Podcast Network. If you enjoyed our show, visit oneshotpodcast.com, where you'll find other great shows like Campaign. Campaign is an actual play podcast exploring lawn form role playing. The current campaign, Skyjacks, takes place in an original setting inspired by the music of the Decemberists, folktales, and classic adventure fiction. Join Liz Anderson, John Patrick Cohen, Tyler Davis, Johnny O'Mara, and Game Master James D'Amato as they tell a tale of daring sky pirates. Also, it's basically an elaborate retelling of Weekend at Bernie's. Just search for Campaign or James Tomato on iTunes, Google Play, or your favorite podcast app.